our brain is one of the most important parts of the human body that controls almost all oops almost all bodily functions how much of a brain do you think you could live without quarter half no brain at all that sounds weird right but that's possible the brain is a very complex organ even though it is divided into parts like the cerebrum which controls crucial functions like your emotions and learning ability and cerebellum which controls activities like muscle movements and balance but the brain's function isn't just towards the body it also determines your personality and the best example for this is Phineas Gage in 1843 Phineas Gage a railroad worker while loading his gun accidentally impaled his skull with a 43 inch long rod and yet he survived later studies on his mental health showed that his social behavior had changed drastically so much that he was no longer gage this case was the first to suggest a link between brain trauma and personality change another interesting case was in 2014 when a 24 year old woman in china went to a hospital complaining about nausea and dizziness the doctors developed a ct scan and found out that the woman was born without a cerebellum and yet lived a good part of her life normally not even knowing anything about it the brain's functionality is not just localized to these parts but rather spread across the brain and the interesting part is that most of these brain parts have the power to adapt to the functionality of other parts and this phenomenon is popularly called neuroplasticity this adaptation is most visible under extreme conditions talking about extreme conditions in 2001 during christmas eve trevor waltrip was born without a forebrain his condition called hydranencephaly where your usual cerebral hemispheres are missing and the cranial cavity is filled with just cerebrospinal fluid even without a brain trevor lived for 12 years thereby setting an example for limits of human survival how did he manage to do that even though trevor did not have his usual cerebral hemispheres he still had his brain stem intact which allowed him to breathe maintain a heartbeat and of course respond to some basic stimuli therefore the brain stem is the most important part of the brain necessary for our survival living with a half brain is possible because our brain has the ability to adapt to requirements over a period of time due to neuroplasticity in fact you will be surprised to know that things as simple as reading watching a video gaming can all shape and reshape your brains something that we have done to you right now to understand and learn concepts this way all mapped to your syllabus download byju's the learning app <laughs>